Every year at Christmas time, I dream of years gone by when I watch for Santa Claus and reindeer in the sky. We always left out cookies and cocoa for St. Nick and never forgot Rudolph, who'd get a carrot stick. Then climb in bed and listened for any bells or noise and sprang out when we heard them to find rooms filled with toys. Stockings were the first we checked and hoped no coal was seen, but always got hard candy, nuts and a tangerine. Each year in his shoes and robe with coffee cup in hand, my dad would point out presents he'd spy from where he'd stand. And as the presents gathered in piles around our feet, he'd stroll out and hug someone, and then ask, who wants to eat? Every year we'd want more toys, and each year we'd get more to play with for a minute, then toss back on the floor. We played with jacks and marbles, and we played crazy eights. We played old maiden Yahtzee and fell from roller skates. Thank goodness bows and arrows had rubber suction tips to keep from penetrating our bellies and our hips. Pellet gun for anyone? Now that's a scary thought. But sure enough, one Christmas Eve, that's just what Santa brought. Model ships and BB guns were made for one another. Everyone I ever built was shot up by my brother. Games and puzzles every year would keep us occupied when the weather was too cold for us to go outside. We loved Mr. Potato Head, on whom we made strange faces, then fought for turns with slot cars, with which we had great races. Monopoly took way too long to ever have a winner. I don't think we ever had a game not called by dinner. Mom would get some handmade gifts from school and all the same, or anything Dad bought for her to which we'd sign our name. Then at last she'd finally find the last gift Santa brought, simply addressed, sweetheart, another lesson taught. But I still can't remember one thing he brought for dad, which really doesn't make much sense because he was never bad. He never asked for presents, but he loved licorice, then laughed each time he got some and asked, who got me this? But I learned he got his gifts though it took me a while. The greatest gift he could get, to see his children smile. Christmas to my dad each year was for his kids and wife. The love he shared with everyone is how he lived his life. What he taught us most of all about this special day is love and honor everyone by things we do and say. Teach your children how to love and share with others cheer not only at Christmas time, but each day of the year. As we celebrate this year with family and friends, Christmas means the gift of love, a message that God sends. Merry Christmas, everyone, his children, big and small. May you share in God's blessings, the greatest gifts of all.